world is a very interesting place when you think about it. After all, in how many other industries could you buy something so small that it could fit in this box and have it cost you $260? Well, they're expensive, but they're here. And, well, they are awesome. If you don't know what I'm talking about, with the release of the brand new X570 motherboards by AMD, they also released compatibility for PCIe Gen 4, meaning ultra fast and ultra expensive NVMEs are now on the market. And today we'll be taking a look at Aorus PCIe Gen 4 NVMe and exactly how well does it stack up and more importantly, is it worth the price tag? Naturally, the best place to start is with some performance numbers. Just a quick look at a crystal disk mark reveals exactly that. Wow, that's that, that that's just beautiful. It's more than enough to make a tech geek really cry tears of joy, looking at how fast NVMEs are nowadays. These numbers are just staggering. And what's also nice is that they are exactly what we expected from the back of the box. So, well done there, Yorus. But then there's the big question of is it worth going PCIe Gen 4 in the first place because of the way higher price tag? Or should you just stay with PCIe Gen 3? Well, let's fire up Crystal Disk Mark once again, this time with our X570 motherboard running in PCIe Gen 3 mode. And we can see that results have dropped quite significantly. But seeing and believing are two different things. And actually just some numbers doesn't tell the full story. The experience and perceived speed is one of the most important things when it comes to storage right now and most of the time there is no chance you'll notice a difference between a PCIe Gen 3 and PCIe Gen 4 NVMe. Like I even had it running in PCIe Gen 3 for a few hours just to see what it was like and again I didn't notice anything however there were a few things where I did notice quite significant changes. The first one in game load times they weren't extremely faster, but it was just a few extra seconds less spent loading games. But for most people, a few extra seconds of waiting isn't really a reason to spend a whole lot more money on a PCIe agent for NVMe. Okay, there are definitely other uses where you definitely benefit from the PCIe Gen 4 speed over PCIe Gen 3. Video editing is a big thing. Thankfully, I don't have to deal with enormous 4K files or whatever yet. However, for people who do have to deal with them, PCIe Gen 4 will help a lot and those speeds will be significantly faster for you. However, I did again just notice a tiny improvement when it comes to speeds of transferring files for editing and stuff like that when I was testing between PCIe Gen 3 and PCIe Gen 4. Now let's talk about the looks of the thing. Like I mentioned in my original first impressions video, I didn't really understand why they decided to go with such a weird colour and not with a more standard blackish greyish colour scheme. But when it sits in your motherboard, it does fit in rather well. It doesn't stand out as not matching, but rather it stands out as something important and fancy. A weird omission compared to Aorus' previous NVMEs, however, is the lack of any RGB. However, in all honesty, it does really make sense, seeing how most of the time your NVMEs are covered up by other components, primarily your graphics card, or your CPU cooling, so you probably won't be seeing too much of that in your rig anyway if that was the case. So one of the things to definitely consider is if it'll even fit under your graphics card if you have a really big graphics card or a motherboard that doesn't offer too much spacing in between the two. High twice the NVMe comes in at 11.4 millimeters, so it is pretty thick, just like a classmate you've always had a crush on and don't tell me you ever hadn't. So it seems like the bottom line is, unless you're doing something that on your PC that requires a lot of data transfers, does it mean that a PCIe Gen 3 NVMe is the way to go and that PCIe Gen 4 is just way too expensive? Well, honestly, and that is just my opinion, yours is probably way different, if you are already buying into X570, I believe you should just go all out and invest in a PCIe Gen 4, especially since that's one of the main features of the X570 platform anyway. Yes, the price is a lot bigger with the one terabyte version of the NVMe cl clocking in at $260 and a two terabyte clocking in at $460. It's a giant cost per terabyte of data storage. You see my problem yet? It's so hard to really go either way with this thing because of how polarizing it is either way. On one hand, it is really awesome and just the fact that you have this awesome technology in your hand is almost worth the price on its own. 
but on the other hand, most of the time you won't probably notice too much, potentially, depending on what you do. Whether it's Blender, video editing, CAD, or anything else that requires plenty of large file transfers, then this will definitely come in helpful, especially since if you're into that kind of thing, you're probably already using a Ryzen CPU. And with the brand new third gen Threadrippers coming out soon, you have even more of a reason to go with one of these, because this would be an excellent companion to such a machine. All in all, do I recommend this? At the end of the day, yes, because at the end of the day, I still believe if you're going X570, you really have no reason just invest that little more so you can get the most out of that chipset. Because, at the end of the day, you'll be just doing yourself a disservice. Even if it is more expensive than a PCIe Gen 3, I believe it's still really worth it. You know, like I said, these things are pretty expensive, so buying them for the channel is a bit of a pain. However, thankfully there's something you can do to help that, and that is my Patreon. Linked down below, even $1 a month goes a long, long way in helping out my channel. It allows me to afford more things like this and other great gear to improve the quality of my videos and also just make it that I can make videos on more interesting topics. So I highly recommend checking it out if you're as passionate about my channel as I am. Or you may have another reason. Maybe you feel sorry for me that I spend so much on, on one terabyte of NVMe storage. Who knows? Also, I'd like to thank my patron Barry Yule. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. Also, I have a Discord, so you should join it. It's down in the video description below. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever. And I'll see you all in what I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.